hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to talk about brf plus so let's dive into the topic so brf plus stands for business rule framework so b for business r for rule and f for framework and it provides a comprehensive application programming interface and also a user interface for defining various business rules so these business rules are defined without the need of writing any abap code the generated business rules can be also incorporated into other sap programs and prf plus is not new because it was there from 1610 and it was more popular since it had launched some go to solutions and the most important ones are the changes in output management for billing and purchasing the prf plus function provides an interface between a business rule modeled with prf plus and an application using that rule it also serves as a container for the entire business logic for a rule now these rules are implemented as expressions which are assigned to a function the rule input is known as context and the rule output is called a result so the input is known as context and the output is known as result this context and result consist of data object which is called decision table structure decision tree it also supports features such as simulation trace transport xml export and import and to use brf plus in your ecc system you should be on netweaver 7.02 service pack 6 or above so this is the system requirements which you need to have in order to use PRF Plus. In S4HANA, this is a new output management that is in place. So this configuration for the new output management is different from what we used before. Previously, we were using the condition techniques using NAST. Also in S4HANA, the target architecture is based on Adobe Document Server. And for form determination rules, the BRF Plus functionality is used. And it's a part of the Netweaver Adapt stack and its key code is BRF Plus. So you just type in BRF Plus on the SAP Easy Access screen and you should be able to get the interface. Now let's talk about the conversion of NAST to BRF Plus. So from ECC to HANA, if you're using a new output, there are no tools available at the moment. Now when we're converting to HANA from ECC, only new POs will be coming in BRF Plus if activated. So only the new POs will be eligible. Now from 1511, only sales and PO are available. And when it comes to 1709, there are 12 plus XML forms which have been added. From 1809, the 12 plus was increased to 20 plus. And in 1909, the number has further increased. To upload this XML format, the basis team needs to pitch in and do their work. After that, the BRF plus needs to be activated by the transaction BRF plus and then a decision table needs to be maintained to get the output. Now let's talk about some limitations. So IDOCs are not fully supported in this new output management because their use is restricted to business applications that previously used NAST. So we are unable to use IDOCs. Now only the output types which are maintained one-on-one -on -one can be used in the IDOC. Also only business partner based communication is supported and no communication are supported to other logical systems also we do not have any ale support as well now let's talk about output parameter determination now if you go to the spr screen you go into the cross application component you then click on output control and then if you click on business rules for output determination or opd you should be able to open the required screen so this is a screen that would open up wherein you can see that you can define rules for purchase order you can define the step here now here actually you enter the document type and the output type and you can edit and check here so this is a very important screen wherein you actually configure your output management now if i talk about configuration steps in order to switch from NAST to BRF Plus, we need to activate a function in SPRO IMG. Now for purchase orders, we have to go to IMG and we have to click on integration with other components. Then we have to click on business network integration, then integration with Ariba network application, specific settings, then go to define message output control, then go to method two, use SAP S4 HANA based output management, and then we have an option to activate or deactivate 
S4 HANA based output management. Now this is the IMG screen. We go to XPRO and this is the node integration with other components, business network integration, integration with Ariba network, application specific settings. Then we go to message, define message output control. And then we go to the method two here. And then we click on activate SAP S4 HANA based output management for purchasing documents. So this is the SPRO node here. And once we click on this icon, then we have this, this window that would open wherein we have the mode and we have to select if I want to use the new output management. So if I want to activate the new output management, I would select this option. New output management is active. Now for contracts and scheduling agreements, we have to go to the IMG screen again, go to cross, up, cross application components, output control, then we go to manage application object type activation. Now for RFQs, the new output management is not available and we have to go with the classical output management. And also for output transmission of your purchase orders with the new output management, you can use the Fiori app print scheduled purchase orders or the corresponding transactions is ME9FF in the backend. Now, once we have configured the purchase order output management on the PO screen, we can have this icon, this option that is print preview. So once you have saved the order and we click on print preview, you would have this preview that will be generated uh, in the purchase order. So we have the PO number and it will have the date. This is the form layout, the print, the the printing layout. So we have the company, the vendor and, and the material and how many pieces are there, what the terms of delivery. So this is the form for the print after we have configured BRF Plus. Now to conclude, so BRF Plus allows us to model rules with an intuitive way and to reuse these rules in different applications. And it also avoids creation of custom tables maintenance of custom tables have it avoids hard coding so you don't have to hard code which was a traditional approach which we were following before it is also used for doing decision making where we can do things on the fly in terms of input and output values the s4 hana output management is recommended but it's not mandatory you can still go with the classic way of it by using mace the scope of s4 hana output management is not comparable with the scope of nest so that was the whole story about brf plus hope you got value from the video if you got value please like share comment and subscribe till we meet again in another video you all take care and goodbye